So we do it on the radar uh, Zoom interviews. I got my guy Radam is on the line. Y'all already might have figured that out. He's already been on the show before, but I wanted to check in with him because we hadn't gotten a chance to talk um, since your album dropped, since all yeah, this other. Yeah, the, sure. You got a new movie out right now. We're all going to touch mm-hmm. that, but um, we were talking about uh, how uh, you've been like working on like uh your answers you know what i'm saying like uh Sounds I don't... Media training yeah you know because uh, so uh, i mean for those who don't know i started the podcast uh first generation talks with my boy dramos from mm. you know breakfast club producer. let me take that off the list of things um, i was gonna ask you about because i was gonna ask you about that anyway okay yeah <laughs> i think I, I think i think through that because me and him are just like con- more consistently just speaking and mm-hmm. i feel like i'm just learning and obviously like i get to hear my shit back i'm just learning like oh, okay like you you spoke and you had a point here and right and here you kind of just rambled or repeated yourself as if it was a regular conversation and you kind of start learning when to turn on and off like in front of a camera is someone else being able to hear an entertainment so yeah because yeah, like because well i mean like you you say that but then you know there's also people who can't talk at all you know what i'm saying yeah like there are people who when they do interviews or when i do interviews take then, advantage of it, you know yeah like when i do interviews there'll be people who like who don't even speak but then like you have like these long thought out answers and that's like good because like i feel like people <laughs> people recip- people are like into that more because people be like oh yeah this man, he's spitting. He like he talking like he he yeah. saying he's saying that shit. So I feel yeah. like you know, I feel like <laughs> your long answers are still are still good. But tell me about this podcast because I kind of I kind of love the name and I kind of like I understand the concept of it. But break down break down to me a little bit more what it's about. Just got to a point where we both wanted more out of ourselves you know what I mean at that place like I think for me I'm not good at just like turning the camera on to myself and like sharing my opinions mm-hmm. on whatever's going on in the world on a day-to-day basis and I think with him he just wanted to have like you know a more focused place for like elevated talk and make sure we just put something positive out there you know what I mean I think it's ill for me as an artist to like be doing my podcast and then not it being something separate from me as like an artist like you know what I'm saying in hip-hop but the thing is, I've always been interested in journalism, you know what I mean? I wrote for a couple of blogs back in the days. I've interviewed a bunch of people, like, at, in college. Like, that was one of my focuses, like, journalism. And so it's like, I'm just, I, I'm also just expressing who I've naturally always been. I'm kind of on something like, life is too short to, like, not believe in yourself. Life is too short mm. to not do what the fuck you care about. And and I realized, you know, I'm a revolutionary, you know what I mean? Meaning I haven't existed before. So if I haven't existed before and I'm still holding back with my interests, whether that be in film or the subject matter of my music or like doing my own podcast or like dropping a book, like I'm like, yo, like I could die tomorrow and that's that's what's left behind. So I'm not going to wait until later until I get some big whatever the fuck. Like I'm going to follow my heart now. And yeah. yeah. Because then, like, later down the line, you could even explore those things further, you know what I'm saying? Like, Of course, the, and that's the, how I see it, too. Yes, yeah, yes. the book could be like, okay, well, here's my first book, but then, you know, you know, record, de- uh, record deal one day, and then, you know, maybe someday you'll be, like, six books down the line, and then you'll be like, right. okay, here's my set of books. And, like, mm-hmm. the public knows about these books, but then, oh, look at, like, you know, look at this book. Nothing changes if nothing right. changes, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I get that because, like, you want to be able to, like, you know, like you said, you want to be able to enjoy um, all the all your interests and like want to be and able I to love express creating. that. And that's yeah. the thing. Like it's fun to create, and it's like you know when you find that right word on a beat or the right tone when you're recording or whatever the fuck. Like that shit makes you feel like there are no problems in life. You know what I mean? And mm. I'm just like, man, like the thrill of like physically holding a book. That shit is ill, and I want to, and I like that because then life becomes fun, and then you're inspired by the 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 amazingness that is like coincidence fate god and your own like imagination you know? now tell me about the book because you know the album came out last year it's already at i, I saw you post it it's way yeah. past a million streams by now so it's already boom it's already it's already out in the world it's already making crazy moves um tell me about the book what was the idea for the book because mm-hmm. i know the book i saw some of the stuff that you put in it was some of your time in dr as well so explain to me yeah, the, stay right there. hold on i got you Oh, he's got a, oh, you got the book on, <laughs> on you. Let's go. I'm going to just like flick it real quick. So this is like the book. This is a leather cover. You know what I'm saying? And Product it's placement. just like for me, it's just like for me, if I'm going to like support somebody mm. who I love, like that's like my intro. It's like a picture of my mom. It's all individual art. You oh, know what I'm saying? I love it's this. stories behind like the, some of the words. It's like handwritten lyrics. 
art oh, that we use for. Amazing. Like, those are my grandparents. You know what I'm saying? My little cousins. Now we get into some poems and some stories that I, like, wrote, like, for the book's placement wow. as well. You know what I mean? That's the behind the scenes. But, like, Fake Gucci, like, how Fake Gucci came along, which is one of the joints. And, yeah, bro, it's just, like, I don't That's know. That's amazing, I, man. Like, I just see it as, I see it as, like, if you are going to support somebody and if you're really a fan of somebody, fuck with Radimus, and especially if you fuck with mm. the album, like, like, however you got in contact with me, like, that's, like, something special. You know what I mean? It's limited. Like, we put the, our own money up together and just made sure, like, there are nuances from the album that exists and just, like, our art and our words. And that shit is just sexy, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, like, I feel like that book, that book that, looks like it know? belongs in, like, a museum. Like, it looks like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, some rare shit you know what i mean like yo like like if i play my cards right you know what i mean when you because that's the thing you gotta we have to treat ourselves important now like i'm not validating myself i'm not validated off of money i'm not validated on who who follows me on instagram i'm not validated by like placements and radio stations and whatever the fuck right like right. of course to the world i am and i mm -hmm. understand it because that's the world that is set up and i'm appreciative of that but I validate myself first, you know what I'm saying? And and the things that become legendary and historic or whatever the case may be are, are decisions on a Tuesday, you know what I mean? And you're just passionate and you're like, you know, let me put this out into the world. So like, like, you know, when I become as big as I plan on being, it's going to be ill if like you're one of the 200 something people that have Radimus when he put out his own book. You know what I mean? Like, that's OD. I'm not going to wait until I'm 45 and recap in my life. I'm going to just do it now, you know? Woo! And, and this is why I wanted to talk to you. This is why I love talking yeah, to you because I feel like you always got like these, like these great gems. Like, even when we just see each other in passing when you're like recording mm -hmm. your podcast and shit like that, like yeah. a lot of the things that you had told me at the beginning of this coronavirus stuff when I was telling you, I'm like, yo, I think I need to take some time to like, reevaluate myself and just chill for a second and yeah. then like that really stuck with me and that's kind of what i did when this when this all started so that's why yeah. i always appreciate hearing these things from you because like what you say is also inspiring to me because i'm like you know what he's right why don't i start this shit start doing this you know what i'm saying yeah, but like bro like you're you and that's the thing like like media i like feel for you guys because on a day-to-day -day basis you have to be like a hundred percent interested in every single talent song connection that like comes across and that shit is hard like how do you even enjoy music <laughs> like all of it is just today's goal you know what i mean like yeah like, so 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 but you're passionate you're passionate about telling stories you're passionate about having these moments in culture that like we all are united by so it's like man like you guys deserve to fucking chill too and it's like it's true and then and then now your challenge is to like continue to continuously connect public and, and and diversify your platform so you right know? yeah and like it, yo you said you have to pretend to be interested that was me every every day the summer of 2016 yeah. or 2017 <laughs> when like i was interested in my job but like when yeah. i every time i heard rihanna needed me on the radio i was like yeah i was yeah, like it's hard it's repetitive because mm -hmm. like you hear it every at that point that was like the biggest album and I remember I was like, bro, if I hear needed me one more time, I think I might actually lose my fucking mind. Like, I think I might actually, like, I might bust through that window because it was, it just got to the point where I was just. That's like the world. That's like, that's what it is. Like, this yeah. is the world we live in. And I still love Rihanna, but that song is just like, it was just so overplayed at the time that I was like, I can't even listen to this shit because I'm just like, I was so exhausted. But I love. We need to take those breaks as creators to like make sure the heart is still intact, make sure you're reassessing, like, why did you get in this in the beginning? You know what I'm saying? And like, and I think for me as an artist, that's like the illest way to differentiate yourself between you know, somebody who needs what's surrounding them at the moment to, like, justify their art. And it's, like, at the end of the day, like, the thing that is motivating me more than anything else is, like, the feeling of, like, this is something that I'm useful at. This is something that I'm mm. good, that's good for the world. This is something that makes my problems turn to nothing. You know what I mean? And from there, the help of the people and whatever the case may be. Because if I focus on money to be the root of my happiness, that's going to be ever going if i focus on cosigns if i focus on shows opportunities whatever the whatever the fuck you know what i mean i'm I, i've now given up my power to circumstance you mm. know so it's ill it's ill to like make sure you're always reassessing like even when shit is slow to the outside world let me make sure i'm still on and whatever i feel is productive 
You know what I mean? Yeah, and man. Sometimes those things match up, you know? Yeah, because I feel like that's now. It's like, all right, the outside world is slow, but I feel busy, busier than ever. You know what I'm saying? Whether exactly. it's like, Whether it's like I've been enjoying doing these different check-ins with, like, people that I've interviewed before, like you, uh, mm-hmm. my dude Zero, mm-hmm. Mackenzie, Lexi, because it's, like, interesting because now we have this rapport with each other, so it's like the conversation flows a little easier. We can get more out of each other in terms of, like, yeah. conversation. But then it's also like, okay, I'm also doing new interviews and then I'm doing Twitches, Twitch Lives, right, right. that for power. So it's like, it's interesting how like I walk outside and it's just like dead silence and just the birds chirping. But then like in my room and in my crib, it's like every day we doing some, some new shit, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's also good. Cause like, you know, you bring this back to being creative, you know, I feel like this is a good time um to be creative because you have all this time yeah. to be creative and I've, I've been seeing that you've been tweeting at like at 3 a.m you're like i just laid down some crazy shit bro i fell asleep like, at eight in the morning last night trying to start the verse like i didn't even get the verse i just got like one uh, line and, nah it's fine because that's what it is it's just showing up it's and you got time like, now i can because this is what i was doing when i was 12 yeah. When I was doing, I was 13, mm-hmm. 14, 15. This is what I was doing in high school. This is what I was doing when I was in college. This is what I was doing, like, on my off, whenever my off day, uh, like, I got out of work one day in my day job, and then the next day I was off. I'm like, oh, now I get to stay up till 3, 4, 5 in the morning and write. Like, so it's like, even if it don't come, it's okay. Because when it shows up, it's fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, but I'm just happy I get to, like, try, you know? So tell me, so you've been talking about, like, uh, I've seen a lot about this movie you did, Inner City Rats, and I was watching the trailer yeah. earlier. Um, and I want you to tell me what this movie is about, what your, your role is, because, like, it looks cool. I like the style, the way everything was shot, and it's super dope, because yeah. I feel like you had might have told me that you were doing this a while ago. So it's kind of cool to see, like, you know, I always love whenever, like, uh, you know, somebody will tell me something that they were doing six months ago, and then now and we finally get to see, yeah, yeah, and, then, and then now we get to see the finished product. So tell me about your role. Tell me about this movie. Give it a little promo, because, because yeah, I think, I think, dope. I think for me, um, once again, it's just like creating. The director is a younger brother of one of my old coworkers at opening ceremony, and that's how he found out about my album in 2016, mm. and. He started just like fucking with me and he wanted to put a movie together, reached out to me, was like, yo, like I'm 19 years old, but I'm not trying to put on the whack shit and you're <laughs> one of my favorites. And I, I just need you to be in the story of New York. So like nice. in the city rats is basically like, it's like petty thieves all and like petty criminals and yeah because i saw like, at some point they're like we're gonna rob the store we just bought something from and i was like exactly oh. so it's just yeah. like stupid thugs you know what i mean and in very different ways like just like obvious mishaps and but i think i think it's entertaining it's like new york it's like funny it's independent film so like don't expect to watch a three million dollar budget film mm-hmm. and then me and my me and my man matt wiz who like i brought in and that's been my brother since like 2006 we're like the co-stars of the first track because the, the movie is put down by track. So, like, okay, we, cool. you know, we like, are, we rob people and we attempt to just like run up <laughs> on this bodega and steal some Rolexes. You know That's I mean? kind of funny. And like me and him talked about that since high school. This is what I'm saying. Like, and, I, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I right, bet like, sure, it's sending a lot of money to it. But mm-hmm. man, like we tried. Like that shit looks like we gave a fuck and I'm watching it over and I'm like, yo, this is, I don't know if it's ego or if I'm just proud of myself. And I'm just like, yo, like that shit, maybe it looks both. good. Exactly. Like maybe, maybe we actually did really do a good job with what we were handed. And, and if I'm whoever the fuck on the, and whatever the higher next tiers are, like I would be able to differentiate budget from actual talent. You know what I'm saying? And I got another joint coming out, um, uh, this film called I Walk on Water with my man Kalika La. And that's like some separate art, you know what I'm saying? That that comes out through Center Reach, and they they're the ones who like did uh, Sorry Sorry to Bother You with Lakeith Oh, Esso. that's fire! Know. Congrats. Yeah, they that's a big that one. Joint. But Kalik is like on a whole other. He's on a whole other wave. Like that movie's like a three and a half hour basic. Jesus. Like art, you know? And I'm in that like spitting, recording, interviewing a whole bunch oh, of stuff. Oh, so that's dope. Is, so you get to you get to kind of like content, you get to yeah, play like yourself. Thing. I'm Radimus, yeah, I'm Radimus. Like, oh, uh, I love that for you, bro. Like, so. That's but yeah. Sick. I mean, I think like like for me, I realize like a lot of people complain about what's not being handed to them. But now I've been on some like I hand my business card to the world. You know what I mean? I'm not waiting for somebody to hand me their business card. Like, 
like, all right, nobody's gonna come. Nobody thinks I can do a book. Like, let me do. Nobody thinks I can drop this. Let me do this. Let me let me just follow what it's important to me. Like clothing, the same thing. Like sometimes we make pieces and they're not for purchase. It's sweater on my website that I'm charging a hundred thousand dollars for, and it's like I'm pretty sure nobody's ever gonna buy it. But it's all good. I don't need you to. I just wait. Need are to you it. actually? Are you actually? Yeah. Selling a hundred thousand dollars, yeah. She's a hundred thousand. Shut the fuck up. I need to go see this right now. I don't believe you. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't, bro. I don't believe you. Hold on, <laughs> what that's crazy, but I kind of love that. I kind of love that. That's like, I kind of love like that's your energy when it comes to like shit like this. My Wi Fi in my house is super bugging right now. Oh, okay, hold on. Which so one is look, it? Look at the Yankee, look at the Yankee joint. All right, you see the one with the Yankee logo? Hit that. I don't, I'm afraid, I'm scared, bro. <laughs> and yeah but you know what you might fuck around and one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have like a notification and it'll be like product sold and you're like what <laughs> but low but low key if somebody buys it i plan on just returning the money and then raising the price up back to two hundred thousand. you know what i'm saying like <laughs> and you actually like have this this shirt like in your crib somewhere of just of course yeah me and my man matthew say john like, he designed and created the whole shit for us we collaborated on the idea like and he's just an ill motherfucker too. You know what I mean? Like these are like some of the projects. Yo, I can't. Like, photography, like my lyrics, like New York Don't Let Me Do Sign title. Like this is like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just I looking can't. at this and I'm so impressed because <laughs> it's just so. I appreciate it, bro. It's so, cr- plus the shirt's fire too, honestly. Like, yeah, the shirt is fire. Like the $100,000 has nothing to do with the material cost. If I were to produce that, we honestly would have to charge like $500 though, or something like that. Just really? so. Yeah, I mean, clothing is just like that's a whole other world and a whole other type of interview. But. Bro, if I had like, if I was a billionaire and I had a hundred thousand dollars, I could shout out for a T-shirt. I would do this, right? Too. Like, because like, it, it. it's like New York is fuck, but like it's also, um, it's also looks like it's good material. Like you said, I love the New nah, York. Don't cool. love me on it too. That's just that's that's fire. I'm into that. Mm-hmm. That's you, crazy how you had that. And so I know you dropped a new song recently. Uh, you dropped Anti Freeze, Anti Freeze, Anti Freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about mm-hmm. this new record because I was listening to it earlier and it's hard. You know, yeah, I, mean, that's I, just I, like, I didn't expect anything I, less from you. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. That's just like a Lucy that I had uh, from like the album recording days. Honestly, it was it was it was released more so just to accompany the rollout of the book because like okay. the cover art for the song was one of the drafts for like the album cover. Oh. And so in the back of the book, yeah, you'll see like yeah, in the back of the book, you'll see the uh, the actual album cover in this final stage, and then you'll see a bunch of drafts and different ideas that we were playing around oh, with. Oh, so that's it so was, cool. It was released on some, like, yeah, like, yo, this didn't make the album, but the art, and it, it still was in the spirit of it. So. I could see how this could be, like, an album cover, because it's, like, it's you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like, doodles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it was, like, it's the drafts. It's the draft stages. So, yeah, the song, and and it was just, like, oh, yeah, we'll just part of a joint, just, just because, just to make sure, like, the name yeah. is out there. As, as I'm working towards this next project, that's like, that's like looking like it's completed right now. Like, so tell me about this next project since since we're there. What, what what's going on with this project? You and um, I always do interviews before your shit comes out, and then it's like, all right, now yeah. it's like after we'll we'll talk about it again. But tell me, but tell me about it. When does this come out? When do you think? I just like next next next, to... next week. Uh, I'm not gonna say too much names, but I got I got like one feature. I have some dope producers. I have a lot of like in-house producers on it. And I think, in short, if my album Righteous 2016 was an introduction to, like, my belief in myself and Nothing Changes If Nothing Changes was an introduction to my past and, like, basically, like, what I've gone through in my story and belief system to get to where I am now, I feel like from here on out, it's me. It's the present day. You know Ah, what I'm saying? I like that, yeah. And so it's just, like... Like your album's Wait, caught up to your personality and what now, you're going yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Now, now let's meet who you're going to run into the street. You know what I mean? Because I've been mm. telling you about what I, I was in VIM asking for discounts. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was then, though. Like, right. oh, yeah, like my, my parents went through this. My uncle went through this. Like, that was in the past. That was just, like, the my story. But now now we're here. You know what I mean? So, like, I have a joint. No. Bendiciones. That's just, like, the hook is mm. in Spanish. But the raps are like OD. I got this joint, uh, Gratitude is Gangster. That's like one of my Fire. favorite um, West Coast producer. Uh, I got a couple joints, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's, it feels really beautiful. You're really beautiful. And it's a smaller project. So uh, you're definitely, yeah, uh, yeah, the people want to know. Hey, man, I'm excited for all this, man. And you know, you got my support. Um, 
before I let you go, because I got to run to this New York, this cyber concert yeah, <laughs> for yeah, work. Yeah, all good. This okay, cyber all good. concert for work um, for Jersey. Uh, but before I leave you, I've been asking everyone, I'm sure you've seen, I've been asking everyone I interview, IG Live, phoners for Power 105, um, I've been asking what's their message to people at home, creatives, artists, whatever you, whatever you may be, a single mother at home, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. a father with a whole family, whatever. What is your message to the creatives, all these different types of people out there? Love yourself. Love yourself. Um, do your best to reconnect with people who you haven't spoken to in a while. Do your best to end any issues and problems you have with anybody outside in the world. You know what I mean? Petty or huge work towards like, you know, reconciliation of just like all of these like extra things because I think the world is like at a place where we realize like, it is impossible to live without human connectivity. It's impossible to, to operate in this world by yourself. Like we're, we're such a community and a society and a support group to each other. And we all need each other in ways that we never really, I when I say we, I mean the whole world, like we never really anticipated seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, all right, like the UPS guy is very important. Like the local restaurant is very important. Like the, our barber is very important. Uh, uh, the ability for our artists uh, like to create videos and put on shows like damn I missed that like the mm -hmm. park official you know what I mean like yeah man, bro important for parks to be open like I'm going to park like so many things so I think I think uh for the artists like cl let's cleanse ourselves you know and for anybody for anybody listening like cleanse yourself like just tend to yourself sleep as much as you have to chill as much as you have to binge watch as much as you have to but like <laughs> don't ignore don't ignore your, what, what you know is going to bring you joy if that is what's going to bring you joy. You know what I mean? And I think from there, you're, you're going to be able to operate towards the future from a clearer mind, you know? Oh, man, I love that. That was such a beautiful message, man. That's exactly I, – I didn't expect anything less from you with that message. Um, man, thank you again for hopping on the Zoom you, call, for checking in with me. It's always a pleasure talking to you, bro. Um, and then I'll – Man, let the people know where to follow you. You know the deal. I don't need to explain it to you. Yeah. You know what to do. Yo, my name is, is, is Radimus, R-A-D-A-M-I-Z. Nothing changes and nothing changes. The album and the book are right now. I've been holding off on just, like, shipping now. That's when to make sure the coast is clear. So we're going to start shipping Facts, that. And yeah. We're going to see, like, from people's perspectives what's going on. And, and, yeah, man, we're here to just, like, add a little bit more good to the world. So fuck with me. There it is, man. Radimus on the radar, my guy. Appreciate you. Fuck with you, bro. Thank you.